In general, smaller and locally owned businesses are more likely to still require a mask, uh, but many of them are being very thoughtful about their policies. I'm not ready to let it go. I'm just not ready. Some of you told us you won't be dropping the mask yet, especially indoors. But either way, it's smart to have a face covering handy because individual businesses can require a mask even if you're fully vaccinated. That was the really the big thing for me was taking my team into account and also taking my customers, a lot of whom have really become my friends. Susan Morano owns Wild Birds Unlimited in Sudbury. And while some of the businesses in the plaza around her will allow fully vaccinated customers to go mask free starting tomorrow, she's asking her customers to mask up a few more weeks for her staff's safety. Not all of us are fully vaccinated just yet, so we knew by June 15th everyone would be fully vaccinated. The key is to look for signage or information on a business's website to guide you. Many major chains, including those shown here, do not require you to wear a mask any longer if you're fully vaccinated. Vaccinated fans can also drop the mask at Fenway Park and Polar Park, but fans do need to mask up at the TD Garden. Other places you must wear a mask, public and private transportation, health care facilities, congregate care settings, health and rehab facilities, and schools. Face coverings are also required for a ride on Boston's beloved swan boats. But on duck tours, vaccinated riders can now quack mask-free. And you can also drop your mask at AMC theaters, but only if you're fully vaccinated. Now, the AMC website does say that all customers can drop their masks when they are actively eating and drinking. So that's a good thing for families to know because a lot of kids are not fully vaccinated yet. Coming up at six, more of what you need to know about when you'll need this mask. We're live in Framingham. I'm Mary Salatna, WCVB News Center 5.